Hey, my gilded brethren. Today I'll be taking you over this press steel frame effect in Photoshop CS5. It's a very attractive effect. You should stay tuned. Alright, hit Photoshop and let's get started. Alright, gonna go up to File, Create New. Gonna make this one 1600 by 1000 pixels. Click OK. Then on the layers panel, go down here, create new layer real quick. And then we're gonna paint the background layer a grayish color. Paint the background layer a grayish color. Paint bucket. Click on the other layer. Go over here and grab the pen tool really quick. And then we're gonna just frame this. We're gonna create. This is the frame sh shape right here. Getting into the frame shape. It's a simple frame. You can you can make it complex as you want to, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it simple and clean. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just you, you, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, that was my little rendition. But hey, hey, that's crooked. Let's get that out of here. And all right, all right, now right click in the selection, make selection, feather radius zero. Click OK. Then go up to select. Click inverse, and then we're gonna grab the paint bucket again. All right, first we're gonna make it a little darker. Then we're gonna grab the paint bucket again, and then pour it in here. Then I'm gonna click Control D to deselect it. Now click the layer, go to blending options, and I want you to add a drop shadow, an inner shadow, and bevel and emboss, and contour it, contour it. In these settings, you could you could pause it and look at it, but you know. I'm going to read them off. I had depth 195, technique chisel hard, size 18. Go down to contour. I'm going to take it down at 20%. Get yeah, 20%. There we go. Come on. There we go. 20%. Inner shadow. Take that over to about 12. Then choke it to about 27%. It is at the size of about 46. And same with this drop shadow. I'm going to take it over to about 13. Exactly 13. Spread to 27. And size to 46. Odd. That's looking good. That's looking good. Now we're going to duplicate the layer. Alright. Now. Now I'm going to show you another neat trick. I'm going to go to sketch. And chrome this one out. We want to chrome it out. Just chrome it. Chrome it out. You're gonna see why later. Your nice nice chromed out. Now we're gonna go up here. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this neat trick with textures. I I got a bunch of pre-saved textures that I'm about to uh, upload. It's just some metal textures I got off some some website. It's several textures though, and we're gonna create one magnificent texture after I show you uh, this technique and yeah, I'm just opening up the textures now you can download whatever textures you'd like to make your own little combo I'm about to make layer from background right click and make layer from background and do the same for this right click make layer from background then I'm gonna drag this layer get the arrow tool drag it over here I'm holding shift as I put it on here so it centers automatically I'm gonna do the same with this. And as I'm dragging, I'm holding shift and releasing. And it centers automatically. And then go to the background layer. Grab that lock. Just pull it down to the garbage can to unlock it. And then this is what you do. You click on them. You go over here to normal and you set it to overlay. <gasps> what is that? Overlay again. Look at that. What to, what is that? That looks metal. That looks like some old alien metal. It looks very rustic and metally. Go down to merge merge layers. On merge layers. And we're gonna drag it over to our frame. And I'm holding shift so it centers automatically. Bam. Alright. Look at that. Look at that. You, you, you really can't tell anything right now, but watch this. I'm gonna click overlay. Overlay. Oh, look at that. It's looking, it's looking magnificent. 
<coughs> All right. Now we're uh, setting up. Oh, that's a little bit too dark. That's too dark. Oop, let's take it back to normal. All right, here we go. All right, let's let's see. Let's let's mess with it a little bit. Let's see if we can duplicate this. See what it looks like. <gasps> oh, that's bright. That's really bright. Let me take that off. All right. Now let's grab this magic eraser tool over here. And what 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 I'm gonna do is just erase out the inside of the frame. Yeah, taking the inside of the frame out, like so. So whatever we put this around can be seen. All right, there we go. Just clean up a little bit. You don't have to do it too much. All right. Ah, turn that off. Let's duplicate the layer we just magically erased. There we go. Look at that. That's looking amazing. And we'll go ahead and delete this one. Now the press steel effect is about to come into play. On the you click on this layer copy, layer one copy. Yeah. Just messing around, seeing how it looks. It looks better with the layer on to me. Leave that on. And then click on layer one copy and we're gonna come up here I'm got I got I got my my uh my logo bam it's still on eraser keep oh look at that did I just pr did, did, is that press steel is that a press steel effect right there killed it at five oh my goodness we got it. there we go that is a that's the press steel look I was telling you about that I showed you in the beginning. You remember? Press steel. Kill that five power. Now you can go ahead and mess around with this to your liking. You don't have to use this this same little magic texture. <laughs> this magic texture creation that I did. You could hey you could use a, a one solid texture if you like. But I prefer this. This looks like something from kill zone if you ask me you know kill zone but yeah, you can play with this however you like and um yeah thanks for watching and um comment subscribe any suggestions anything i could have done better let me know but take care and have a happy youtube and day